now we are moving to combination of solids combination of solid means there will be solids placed one over the other on the top of one uh, one solid will be placed on the top of the another solid and on the top of that solid another solid will be placed and we have to draw the isometric view of the combination of solids the university exam point of view this combination of solids is important okay so the problem is a rectangular slab 75 mm into 50 mm into 20 mm is surmounted by a cube of 40 mm side on the top of the cube rest a square pyramid of altitude 40 mm and a side of base 25 mm the axes of the solids are lying in the same straight line draw the isometric view of the solid this is the question the question you can see in your screen so a rectangular slab of 75 mm into 50 mm into 20 mm there is a rectangular slab of length 75 width 50 and height 20 on the top of that rectangular slab there is a cube of base 40 and on the top of that cube there is a square pyramid of side 25 and height 40 all the uh, three solids are lying uh, the axis of the all the uh, solids are lying along the same central line so we have to draw the isometric projection of this problem this is a problem so the first step will be the construction of what we have to do okay so we know that uh, in this question uh, in the problems related to solids uh, the view where the base is visible should be drawn first so in this problem the top view in the top view you can see the base there you can see a rectangle on the top of the rectangle there will be the uh, square corresponding to that uh, cube and on that uh, top of the cube there is a, a square corresponding to the pyramid square pyramid right so we can draw the top view first so we know that uh, the base is 75 width is 50 and height is 20 so in the top view you can see the 75 and 50 so this length will be 75 and this 50 we can also look at the same this is the normal procedure now on the top of that rectangular slab there is a cube of side 40 which means uh, on the top of this there should be a square having a di uh, dimension 40 okay we draw the square see this will be 40 so at a distance of 20 mark a point 20 here mark a point 20 here mark a point 20 here mark now okay That's also complete. And on the top of the, the cube, there is a square pyramid of a dimension 25. So how can you obtain the 25? 12.5 here, 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 12.5 
we are going to construct the corresponding isometric view. See, the first thing is that we have to draw the isometric view of this rectangle. You know how to convert this into isometric projection. So, select this point, mark a point here. This is 75, so at an inclination of 30 degree and at a distance of 75. You can look at this point. You can look at this point. Similarly, here at an inclination of 30 degree, you can look at this point also. Take this much distance, mark here, so that you can look at this point. So this point, so a line parallel to this one. So this point. So that we have drawn the bottom layer, this layer of the rectangle. See, for a rectangular block, two layers will be there, one will be here and one will be at a height of 20 here. So, we have completed the bottom layer. Then, how can we obtain the top layer? See, we can see that this is a line at a height of 20. So, from each point at a height of 20, See, these lines should be very thin, then only we can understand it easily. So, now we have completed the top layer also. Clear? So, we have completed up to this point. Now, it can be seen that on the top of that layer, there is a cube. So, how can we locate the position of the cube, these four points there? Very simple. These four points are the inside positions of a lamina. So, so, taking this point as origin, so on this layer, we can locate these four inside points. How can we locate this inside point? See, take this distance, mark here, I will draw a line parallel to this. Take this distance, mark here and draw a line. Okay, we have done this, how to locate the inside point. So, take this distance, mark a point here, take this distance, mark a point here. So that we can locate the four inside points as so we have obtained the four points. Now these are cube, so there will be a height of forty there at every position. So, through this point at a height of 40, mark here, mark here, mark here, and mark here. So, it is also done. No policy is understood, so it is done this. Now, on the top of that cube, there are still four points. That four points belongs to the square pyramid. How can we locate it? See, these all are inside the points. So, on this layer, we can locate these four points. Which means, on this layer, we can locate this one. How? Take this distance, this distance. Or here and here, so that we can obtain this. Similarly, we can obtain the four points. So, take this distance, mark here. Take this distance, mark here. Similarly, we can obtain the four points. Uh, and similarly, we can obtain the center position also. Now, on that center, the apex is at a height of 40. So, through that point, at a height of 40, locate the apex. So, once you locate all these four points, uh, connect this, connect this, connect this, connect this, connect this, connect this, that way I didn't connect this, because uh, if it is invisible, no need of drawing in isometric projection. Now draw this, draw this, draw this, connect this, connect this, connect to this, connect to this also. Now, connect to this one, this one, this one, and this one.
see this is isometric view of the lamina sorry of the combinations of all of the combination salts so the thing is you have to draw the orthography projection in the orthography projection you will get the points so there will be different layers look at those layers first and on those layers you have to mark these inside points and once you obtain those inside points then simply connect these things i think this is very easy yeah actually this combination also so first we have constructed this rectangle isometric of the rectangle on the top at the height of 20 another layer is drawn on those they on the that there located for inside points then that cube is a height of 40 so at every point draw the line for that way. top layer of the cube on the top layer there is still four points of the square pyramid we have located the center also and the one from that center located 40 you obtain the matrix so this is the method of constructing the isometric view of a combination of solids if you have to draw the isometric projection the every dimension you have to measure every dimension and multiply it with the point eight and six and with that value you have to draw the something projection. Okay. So I think all of you have understood. Actually, this portion is enough for constructing this uh, top view is enough for constructing this uh, isometric projection. But for understanding easily, I have draw this front view also. If you are able to draw the front view, that will be very easy for understanding. Okay. So I think all of you have understood.